my name is Catherine Rada, but you may call me Kat. And today I'll talk about uh, the Osaka Embassy, the American Embassy in Osaka. Um, many people know that if you lose a passport in a foreign country, you go to the American Embassy. But the Embassy does a lot more than just passports. Um, they have hand in everything from politics to economics to helping people worldwide. The American government alone has hundreds of embassies located around the world. Um, and although the basic functions of each embassy are virtually the same no matter where they are, uh, the main purposes uh, change upon location. I've always held a deep fascination for other cultures ever since I was a little kid. Uh, working for the American embassy not only provides an opportunity to visit another country, but to live there and interact with the people and culture. Uh, today I'll be focusing on the embassy in Osaka, Japan. The Osaka embassy has two main purposes. One, to aid American citizens in need, and two, to help <coughs> improve the relationship between America and Japan. First, let's take a look on how they help American citizens. Uh, the American embassy has a multitude of services to offer American citizens. As I mentioned earlier, they include passports, but they also do marriage registration, baby registration, death certificates, and legal aid. I won't bore you with the boring details of everything besides the legal aid, because it's mainly just a series of paperwork, so rest assured. But let's take a look, closer look at the legal aid. If you are involved in a crime in Japan, whether you're the victim or the offender, the, the American embassy is there to help you go through the process. If you are the victim, um, they'll help by communicating with the local police as well as um, directing you to attorneys who can speak English. But if you're the offender, on the other hand, although they will help you through by communicating to the police and providing attorneys, um, according to the book Inside a U.S. Embassy, Diplomacy at Work, which is issued by the American government, um, the foreign officers from the embassy will also visit you in jail to not only provide moral support, but to make sure you're not being abused. However, don't take this as a get, get out of jail free card. No matter where you are, you're subject to both American laws and to the laws of the country that you're in, so don't do anything bad. <coughs> Next, let's look to see how they improve the relationship in Japan. Every single day, the diplomats from the American Embassy will communicate with government officials and talk about various issues, including politics and economics. They're also the face of America in Japan, and when a big issue crops up, they provide the American stance to the Japanese people. And lastly, they provide aid to not only American citizens, but Japanese citizens as well. For example, during the 2011 earthquake, they helped evacuate Japanese citizens and provide supplies to the affected areas. In conclusion, the two main purposes of the American Embassy is to help American citizens and to, of course, help our ally in their time of need. Um, so next time you're in a foreign country, uh, rest assured that the American Embassy has your back. Thank you for listening.